Hello, today I'd like to talk to you about making french fries outside. It's actually pretty easy. Uh, let me go through what I have prepared. I have uh, some rusted potatoes sliced up uh, into french fries already. Uh, they're in a bucket of water where I hold them. You could do this the night before or a few hours before, but this way you could get that mess out of the way. Um, and then when it's time to cook, you're just cooking. I have uh, a fry pan. I have a busboy tray where I'll store my first fried fries. Um, I have a Dutch oven here. This is a 12 inch deep. Um, and I'll use this to actually do the cooking. Um, they're not just for bacon. I do a lot of frying in my Dutch ovens. Um, so we'll heat up the oil. We'll drop some fries. When they're almost done, we're going to take them. We're going to store them in the bus pan. And then um, just before it's time to eat, I'm going to take them, handfuls, back into the oil. That second fry is going to crisp them up really good. And this way, I can crank them out really fast. So I'm not waiting for that full initial fry to complete. I'm going to want to fill these up with some canola oil. I try never to use peanut oil because although uh, everybody says they're a really high smoke point and it tastes good, um, I'm always worried about allergies. I never who, know who's going to um, be eating out of my pot, so I always use canola oil. I want to be careful that we don't put so much oil in that when we put the fries in and it kind of flashes off and steams right away. We don't want to go up over the side because uh, that would be a really bad thing. You'd have a fire, uh, a pretty spectacular one, but a fire is probably not a good thing making french fries. All right, so you're going to want to make sure that your fries are drained. I like to shake them around in a basket a little bit. The dogs love the droppings. Um, and we're going to set it right into our oil. And I'm not just going to drop it down. I'm going to do it slow. Once we're done, we'll move them right over to the bus and can. And reload. And that's what five pounds of rusted potatoes look like. All right, now we're ready for the second fry. So this is what makes them really crispy and super quick. I'm gonna grab my mostly done fries. I'm gonna throw them in the basket. And I'm going to drop them right back in the soil that's up to temp. I'm just going to give them a quick second fry. Doesn't take long. This heats them back up. It really crisps them up great. And uh, we're going to salt them. Right away. We'll salt them right away so that salt sticks. I throw them into this cardboard box. Throw some salt on and give it the shake. Check them out. Oh, these are great. And there you have it. They're ready to go.